Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan64 here and ignore the noise in the background. There's someone talking upstairs. So it's now time to do a movie review to the 2020 live action remake of Mulan. And this movie not very many people like. I really enjoyed this movie. It's nowhere near as good as the, the original animated movie from 1998. But this movie was still great. Probably one of the more underrated live-action remakes. This was a really, really great remake. Like I said, it's not nowhere near as good as the original, but this movie was amazing. I really enjoyed Donnie Yen and Jet Li in the movie. Jet Li plays the Emperor and of China, and uh, Donnie Yen plays... Commander Tung, I think, or Commander something. <clears throat> this was a great movie. Donnie Yen, Donnie Yen and Jet Li both stole the show. Like I said many times in this video, I, it's, I, I, pref, I don't like it as much as the original. But this was still a great movie. The one problem I have with it is that Mushu isn't involved. That kind of worries me. I wasn't really looking forward to this remake, honestly. And this is the first Disney live-action remake to be PG-13. And the second... And recently, the new Cruella movie was rated PG-13 as well. So that means there's two... Cruella is the other Disney live-action remake to be PG-13. I really like that this movie was PG-13. It was very shocking that it was PG-13. This is a really great movie. The battle scenes are great. The entire movie is entertaining as hell. This is a great movie. And excuse my language, so yeah. I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10 stars and an A-. minus. So yeah, that is it for my review to the 2020 live-action remake of Mulan. In which I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe. Plus, it really helps out, and I'll see you guys all in my next movie review. Bye, everybody. Adios.